All right, so it is about 6.15 and we are gonna be eating dinner at seven. We really enjoy homemade pizza and I have a gift for homemade pizza. It's kind of bad, but I'm just going to show how we make it because we do it a lot and we really enjoy it. So this is what the dough looks like. Like it's a really wet dough. And so I normally do two teaspoons of yeast, maybe two cups of flour and enough water to get it to this consistency. I also normally season it with parsley, oregano, garlic. Oh, always add a pinch of salt, a really wet dough, and then it sits. And so this dough has actually been sitting for, I think almost three days, just like out on the counter. We had um, some pizza with it yesterday and I had made it the day before. Normally we try to get it to sit for 18 hours and if we can't, just until it like doubles in size, which is really arbitrary. We normally try to let it sit for quite a while and just helps the flavor develop. I don't know, we don't mess with perfection. So as far as pans go, we like to use either, I mean, honestly, any sort of pan. The trick is a lot of oil. We started doing homemade pizza in a glass pie dish and it was amazing. And now we just move on to this just to kind of get a thinner crust for the most part because then it'd be like a deep dish pizza almost. So this is just a small nonstick pan, which I know isn't the best, but we're going for convenience tonight. And then I sprinkle some cornmeal down. Sometimes I'll accidentally, because it's literally, I'm just shaking out another bag. Sometimes I accidentally dump too much. And then Kyle will let me know. So this is kind of a smaller pizza. Because if we make a big pizza, we will eat the whole pizza. So I'll just kind of plop it down. So now it's a big blob. I'll get my fingers in the oil. Start spreading it out. We also try to use bread flour when we can, but we don't always. But recently, we've been really good about using bread flour and pizzas have turned out really good. I mean, we're kind of lazy, but kind of not. It's a very wet and sticky dough. This red sauce from the freezer, it's kind of silly, but Kyle does not like things like spaghetti, but he likes red sauce on his pizza. He does not like a white sauce pizza. And so we open a can of sauce and then I just end up like using a little, freezing it, and then just always pulling stuff out of the freezer to use. And this is like my last little bit of the last time we had it frozen. I also always keep mozzarella in the freezer. And yes, it's shredded, but sometimes convenience wins. This is garlic spread and it's kind of my favorite thing. And so since I didn't season the dough, I'm gonna put it in Parmesan. I told Kyle this was a luxury item when we were first married, and I stand by that, but he thinks it's hilarious. Normally we don't have bacon, but because we have the dog over, we have bacon tonight. I do make sure to put a lot of pepperoni so there's good coverage of it because you'll see when it comes out, it doesn't look like I put that much on. Someone a while back asked Kyle, like, what's your favorite dinner that you have together? He said homemade pizza and I was like, what, really? So like, it looks like it's completely covered in pepperonis, but when it comes out of the oven, it will not. Yes, that is what we do for pizza. I'm going to, I forgot to put the preheat the oven. So when the oven is at, I do 415, everyone's gonna tell you to do it higher, 425, 450, I do 415. Once it preheats, I'll put it in there. I would say it normally takes like maybe 20 minutes to cook, maybe less, kind of depends. But there is a good amount of oil and the oil makes the crust like really crispy. I never really cared for homemade pizza as a kid, but now I really like my homemade pizza, so. There we go. Amy literally wants me to record this. We're eating her wonderful pizza. I want to wash my hands, so I have my fingers, hands like this, and I just pause the office at the perfect spot where Dwight 
is like this. And so it just was perfect that my hands and I'm like, pause. And I didn't even realize it at first. Like it was, it was super funny because, because he pauses it and he gets up and I know he's gonna go wash his hands, but then he turns around right in front of the TV and goes, <laughs> like makes the face and everything and walks out and it takes me a second to realize he did it and then I'm like holy cow no way because like even when we went to film this I accidentally messed up the screen and I could not get it back to the same screen anyways it was very funny and it was like the when we watched Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince he did the same thing but this was just like so it just seemed so unplanned so smooth he just paused it got up and then on his way out turned around and did like i don't know how he planned that i have no idea that's why i wanted him to get the camera because it was just so smooth it is i think it's november 9th and we are going to church today for the first time since before we were married it's it could be the 8th it's like we got married february 29th the next day was church and we stayed home that was our honeymoon and then the next week church was canceled so it's only one hour I mean it's probably less than that and we have to wear masks the whole time there's no singing they've blocked off pews every other pew or so so we're not gonna be near anyone it's gonna be really strange but it's gonna be good right and Kyle looks really handsome we've gone back and forth a lot about whether or not we were actually gonna go and we have landed on we're going so far <laughs> We got about five minutes to change that. <laughs> Mr. Malcolm. Amy made a smoothie. It's supposed to be healthy. It tastes healthy. You said it tastes delicious. You wanna go really good with this? Chocolate milk. Chocolate syrup. <laughs> it is now evening time. Church was definitely really different. We weren't allowed to sing, everyone had masks, and then the, the hymns that they chose to just play all had like five to seven verses. So it was super funny. We are gonna have dinner with Kyle's folks. Anyways, it was just kind of a funny church session because we're all so out of it and confused and it was just really cute and funny. What do you have to say, honey? It was really funny. Compost, you know the side. And off we go. Are you wanna, vlogging your face? I want to show how dark it is outside. No. It's not even 5:30 yet. Look at how dark it is. Dark, dark, dark. dark. Check it out, raccoon. Ooh. Hello. Go, go, try to pet it. No. Do they want some McDonald's? What do we do? <laughs> oh. There's gotta be more. Oh yeah. There's a pack of four raccoons that hang around here. Should we go the other way? Or we can sneakily go that way. What if it jumps on us? This has more light. Let's go the other way. <laughs> no, this way has more light. So yeah, we but can... they know we're here. Yeah, we're just gonna sneak this okay. way. My dad told me that they're not going <laughs> to attack us. Let's see if he's right. Okay. <laughs> Bye, raccoon. <laughs> Bye. Don't worry, I would have thrown the compost at it to protect us. <laughs> this is a rough neighborhood that we live in. <laughs> There's raccoon gangs. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Why did you make me get up? 